Senator Fetterman, Senator Fetterman, welcome. Good to see you. And uh, in the on deck circle is uh, Senator Sullivan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And hello, welcome. There's no reason why you would know this, but I live in Western Pennsylvania, and one of the great things that your organization has done, and that's the Braddock Locks and Dam. Perhaps you might be familiar with that, but uh, the work that the Ar Army Corps has done on the Mon and the Ohio rivers have really put things in motion for another 100 years of commerce in Western PA. And I take every opportunity to praise your organization's work. So, and I'm grateful, so thank you. And now I'm excited to be working with Chair Carper and Ranking Member Capito to ensure that the WERDA bill includes priorities that are critical to Pennsylvania's infrastructure. The first priority I wanna ask you today is about acid mine drainage. People may not know the term, but Pennsylvania sees that impact when their rivers might turn bright orange in a very shocking kinds of, of sh shade, and, and it often will be uh, fish kills. One watershed in PA, the Tioga River watershed, has water as acidic as vinegar. They will be needed the kind of investment of more than $60 million to clean the drainage and to bring back life to that ecosystem. This isn't just in Pennsylvania's problem, there are other states as well that have these kinds of challenges. So, sir, if you had a pre-dedicated program for acid mine drainage, how could the Corps assist communities that need technical and financial help with this problem? Yes, sir, I'll start. First, of all, I want to acknowledge the water quality issues. Our teams are very familiar with that. In the past, we've been using uh, public assistance to states or Section 206 on, in the, uh, the CAP program. You run into some uh, funding limits with each one of those, sir, so you are correct. I think a specific authority uh, to actually get after this challenge would greatly enable the Corps to get after the, the scope of everything you've just described. So would you peg that amount, $60 million? Is, does that seem... Is that too much, too low, kind of Goldilocks? Sir, I don't know the, the value. Uh, I know the scope of the problem. I, I just can't monetize it. Okay. All right. Th thank you. I'm also working to ensure the commercial future of the Allegheny River. If we are going to make things happen in West Pennsylvania, we need the Allegheny River to be open for business. Right now, there's a risk for operational hours will be reduced. Along with my colleague and friend, Senator Casey, I propose language to help us find a path forward for Allegheny County to keep lockage levels and service steady until we do. So, Lieutenant uh, General Spellman, you affirmed to my office that you would evaluate the economic impacts before considering a decrease on these service levels. Would you evaluate, would you, excuse me, would you, that evaluation include the long-term harm to current commerce in the region if the lock hours were threatened or reduced. Yes, sir. Um, you're correct. The, this, is, this is in regard to the eight locks and dams that we have on the Allegheny River. The economic analysis that I mentioned in the previous hearing, that's based on a, a three-year average of both commercial and recreation lockages that we do at each of those uh, eight facilities. So in other words, we let the, the commerce dictate the level of service that we have at each one of those locks, not, not vice versa. So today, Lock and Dam 2 and the CW Bill Young Lock and Dam, they're the busiest, and we have two 10-hour shifts per day uh, passing that traffic. Lock and Dam 4 and 5, a little bit less traffic, so they have one 10-hour uh, shift. And then Lock 6 through 9, those, uh, those uh, upper four, much, much less traffic, and so we operate those by uh, commercial traffic. Uh, by appointment only. So we will increase those, that level of service. It's all just, it's all based on the, the traffic that we're seeing. Okay. Uh, so finally, uh, is, is it fair to say that you're willing to, to commit to work with my office to increase utilization and maintain of service? Yes, sir. All right, thank you. And I see the remaining, back to the chair. Thanks, thanks, uh, Senator Fetterman. Uh, Senator Sullivan, I told you, I said that you were in the on deck circle, but we got two uh, colleagues who got here earlier today and had to leave. So I have, uh, under the rules, a need to, to 